They're like the Goldilocks of real estate, not too big, not too small, and just right for many home buyers. Hello everyone, today we are talking about the pros and cons of townhouses. My name is Holly Green, I am a real estate agent on the Jamie Green team here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. We have helped hundreds of people buy, sell, and invest in real estate right here in our province. Are townhouses the right fit for you? Let's find out. Before we jump into it, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the amazing deep dive videos in the real estate. All right, let's start with the pros. First pro, affordability. Let's talk about price. Oftentimes, townhouses come with a smaller price tag than a detached home. That means oftentimes you can snag a piece of property without emptying your bank account. Number two, up next, low maintenance. When you buy a townhome, the property size outside is also smaller. So it's perfect for people with busy lives. You'll often find that exterior maintenance and landscaping can be taken care of by an association or will just cost less due to the fact that there is less exterior to maintain. That means less time spent maintaining your yard and more time spent doing what you love. One of the best things about buying a townhouse is a sense of community. You will have neighbors nearby, which gives you the opportunity to build lasting friendships and maybe even a neighborhood watch group. This is great if you have kids. And my final pro, location, location, location. Townhouses are usually found in prime locations within a town or city, close to city centers, amenities, transit, all the great things that you need for that busy life. You'll have easy access to shopping, dining, and entertainment all a stone's throw away. All right, let's go to the cons. I don't wanna be a negative Nancy, but I need to make sure that you understand the cons of also buying a townhouse. Some townhomes have constraints. Townhouses tend to be smaller than a single family detached home, which might be a downside if you want more space for your family, or if you have a big collection of whatever you collect. Sometimes there's also HOA fees, homeowner association fees. While they cover exterior maintenance, they sometimes can dig into your budget. These are more rare in Nova Scotia, but if you have them, make sure that you understand what you're paying for and if it aligns with your needs. Okay, another con. Let's face it, townhomes share walls. Now, oftentimes, these walls have enough space in between them that you can't hear people in the room right next door, but ultimately there's gonna be people around. If you're looking for complete privacy or you like blasting your music late at night, a townhome may cause problems for you. And my final con, although it was a pro as well, is the limited outdoor space. If you're on an outside unit, there might be a bigger yard, but if you're in the middle, the outdoor space is typically pretty small. It's likely big enough for a small garden if that's what you're into, but if you're looking for something big, or a really big yard for a dog or kids, this may not be a great choice for you. We have several clients who absolutely love living in townhouses. They have great neighborhoods, good communities, and the homes are very well built. But of course, we had to give you the pros and cons to make sure that you can make an informed decision when you are buying a home. What works for one person may not work for another. So it really boils down to your individual needs and preferences. Now here's where you come in. If you have ever lived in a townhome and have some feedback, leave it in the comments below. What did you love? What did you maybe want to change? Your insights could help people with the decision-making process of if a townhome could work for them. A couple of months ago, we did a video of the four factors to consider when house hunting. You can catch that one here. And of course, don't forget, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, make sure you hit that subscribe and stay tuned for more very relevant real estate information. See you at the next one.